All right, so I did. I changed my plans, and I went over to Il Bungo Style today. Again, I know, but I got the word that they had a cheesesteak special. And like I said, if you know me, you know I had to get it. Now, this, this is weighty. I know it's going to be promising. I know it's going to be promising. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about cheesesteaks today because we have to. But let's just deal with the one at hand first. So what we have is what you'd call, well, you got the steak, and then you would call grilled onions down here, but it's fried onions, white cheddar cheese, peppers, and mushrooms. I could already tell from tasting that meat that this is going to be something. Something positive. Let's put this over here for now. All right. Um... I came straight over here, so it's pretty fresh. So one thing that was told to me, it's important to know, and it is, this is an Il Bungo style cheesesteak, all right? And the reason that's important is because when you think of cheesesteak, you think of Philly. And granted, there's a variety of cheesesteak styles and flavors in Philadelphia, too. But this is doing its own thing. It's um, important because you don't want to go in there comparing to Philly. The mushrooms, the peppers, uh, the Italian vibe on this is very present. If you've ever had sausage and peppers, which is a popular up north dish also, there's a hint of that coming through because of the style of this cheesesteak. As was to be expected, the ingredients are high quality, the steak The steak is of good quality. The peppers and onions are cooked really well. Good flavor. Good bread. Super well executed. Let me say this. I know we're just going to talk about cheesesteaks, and then we're going to compare and contrast these on the back end. We're ranking cheesesteaks. I'm not going to rank this one because it's a special. So this is a special today, Thursday, and tomorrow, Friday, at Il Bunga Style. It's a lunch special. So I'm not going to rank it. If I was going to put it on the official ranking we're doing, this would be number one. This is just executed really well. And the thing is, it's the typical what you see down south cheesesteak. Down south, obviously you got the steak, but they dress it with grilled onions, red peppers, and a lot of times mushrooms. So that's the trio, onions, peppers, mushrooms. But this execution is really how it needs to be done. I mean, this is, I wish I could translate this to you, the mushrooms, the onions, You could tell that they're made with intentionality and effort. Uh, it's not just thrown together. But just so you know, let's just talk about this real quick. So a Philly cheesesteak, a lot of people don't actually know what is a Philly cheesesteak. So your typical cheesesteak is really going to be a little bit different than this, usually if you go to Philly. So the standard, and for me, the best cheesesteak I've ever had, period, was at Angelo's in South Philadelphia. Very popular place, and rightfully so. And so what you would normally have is the steak, toasted bread, lightly toasted bread, fresh bread, very important. What they call fried onions, you'd call grilled onions typically down here. Your choice of cheese, options being provolone or cheese whiz, which is just a cheese sauce. We'll talk about that in a second. Then you have the option of long hots. A long hot is a very mildly spicy Italian pepper that's typically used for frying or pickling and so me if i go like if i went back if i went to philadelphia tomorrow and i went over to angelo's we'll say i'm gonna get a steak with fried onions cheese whiz and long hots but naturally you could do different things some people put peppers on there some people put ketchup on there some people put mustard on there so whatever floats your boat but as for me that's how i'm gonna do it or provolone in those clips you saw i had one of each i had one with provolone and long hots i had one with cheese whiz and no long hots that particular time. Now, I know some of y'all are wondering, what is Cheese Whiz? I remember back at one point in time asking someone from up in the area just outside of Philadelphia when I didn't know any better, are you talking about Cheese Whiz, like the craft makes in the can that you spray? To which they say, yes, that is not what Cheese Whiz is. Now, I don't think nobody's putting that on a cheese steak. I mean, I guess they could be, but if they are, they need to stop it. All it is is a cheese sauce. You make a homemade cheese sauce. It could be a combination of American and cheddar with some heavy cream. There's different ways you could do it. But you melt down a cheese sauce and they take that cheese sauce, they take it out of the ramekin. And while it's on the flat top, that meat's cooking with the onions, drizzle it on there, mix it on together. Then you put it onto your bread and then give it another dose. Once it gets on there, add your peppers, you're good to go. 
So this has much more of an Italian vibe to it than what I just relayed to you would have. But this is good. Think sausage and peppers. If you if you took a sausage, a traditional sausage and peppers, collided it with a cheesesteak, boom, that's what you got right there. And it works and it works well. So I had a different plan for today. But when I got the call on this, I had to reroute. I'm a fan of the cheesesteaks. As long as that special is going to be there tomorrow, I will probably go back and get another one. I'm still on a mission to find the best cheesesteak in Florence. As of right now, that one would take the number one spot. But since it's a special, we're not going to count it in that official ranking. So if y'all got recommendations of where I need to go check one out in Florence or any of the surrounding areas. So the PD, really, we're looking for the best cheesesteak in the PD. Then drop a comment and let me know where should I go? What should we check out? Well, as usual, I have a complete mess in here that I've got to clean up, but that's okay. So, hey, I hope y'all enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, please give the video a like, all that good stuff. I do think that we got some things coming up in the near future that y'all are really going to enjoy. That's the plan, at least. And so I encourage you to subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. And I'm just going to go enjoy the satisfaction of that sandwich because that was excellent. We talk about this all the time. Quality of ingredients, recipes, execution, and then environment in terms of friendliness of staff and all that as a, as a bonus category that matters in rating a restaurant. When you look at El Bungo style, because you've got a trained chef in there, all of that, I know that they're sourcing out their ingredients. So the quality of ingredients shines through that sandwich. Like you detect that. You should be able to detect that. And then also the execution. And so that was fantastic. The only thing that I regret is really, I would have rather have just eaten that right there in the restaurant because there's all those juices. By the time you get back over here, it's wet. It's getting soggy on the bottom and it's falling apart, dripping. But hey, it is what it is. I would um, probably go get another one and just not eat it on camera, just eat it in the restaurant. But hey, we do it for y'all. And so I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, as always, I appreciate y'all's viewership. And y'all take care. And God willing, we'll see you on the next video.